What's going on everyone? So today's video we're going to be installing a plow on one of the other four wheelers that I have currently at my house. I went last night, I actually found it yesterday on Craigslist, I ended up messaging the guy asking if I can come look at it last night and it was about an hour and a half away from me. Drove up there, looked at it, saw it was actually in pretty good condition, bought it and then brought it home. Got home around like, I don't know, 8.30, something like that. So it wasn't too late, but did three hours round trip just for a freaking plow. But we're gonna be putting on the black Kodiak. So let's go take a look at the plow and go warm up the four-wheeler. Well, go warm up the four-wheeler, go look at the plow, and then get everything inside the garage. Because as you can see, we already got snow for the season. And, uh... It's only a matter of time before we get even more snow. Now here is my dad's 2006 Kodiak 450, which if you guys seen the video of me bringing all these home, um, I'll link it up above for you. But originally he had a 2010 Grizzly 350 with the plow on it. I've had videos of it plowing, I think like one and a few other videos on it. But that one was his when I brought this one home. He kind of took it from me and told me, sell his, and basically I can keep the money from that one as long as he gets to keep this one. So we decided, well, he decided, but I actually wanted to keep this one for myself anyways, so I got my money. Either way, we got to keep this one. I sold his 2010 350 Grizzly, and this plow was on a manual lift bracket. I had the lever on the side, and that's going to come into play for this guy in a second. The winch wasn't working, I ended up installing the switch on the handlebar for the winch, got everything working, rebuild the winch, and now it works off the winch because I like having the winch because it gets it higher. But again, that lever that I took off of that plow is going to come into play with this guy because this guy doesn't have a winch and I don't want to have to install a winch on it because that's more work and... Come on, I know it's cold. There we go. Yamahas, they're cold blooded. Yamahas are very cold blooded. If you own one, you will know. But I got the plow in the bed of the truck over here. So the plow that's on the Camo Kodiak is a 50 inch cycle country straight blade, like 16 inches high. This is a state plow, however, the arm on it, or the whatever you want to call this, the frame is a cycle country frame. And the plow blade is 52 inches. As you can see, it's got the angle on it like the state plows do. And it came with the bracket. That was a key kicker with this plow. A lot of times when you find plows used on Craigslist or Facebook or eBay, a lot of times they don't have the brackets to mount to the four-wheeler frame. This one has the bracket and it came off a Yamaha Big Bear and it's a little adjustable so it should fit on the Kodiak, no problem. But we are going to have to drill into the skid plates that are on the Kodiak, but we'll get into that. For now, let's get everything into the garage. Alright, so I got the four-wheeler in the garage. It's up on jack stands just so it's easier to get underneath. Got the plow in here as well, and I didn't realize the state plow is made by Cycle Country, so it makes sense why this is also Cycle Country. But, like I mentioned earlier, the plow that was is on the Camel one, it came with the manual lift system on it, probably because the winch wasn't working. However, since I got the winch working, I took the manual lift system off of it, and knowing I would be putting a plow onto this one and not wanting to put a winch, even though with the Yamahas, with these generations, they have these brackets right here. You can't see it with the light. But there's mounting here just to get a normal plate and winch from like Harbor Freight that you can throw on here. I've done it. It's super simple. However, I just didn't want to spend that extra money to do that and run all the wiring just because I already had this arm here and I, it would either sit in my shed or I would have to try and sell it and just sit on it. But all Cycle Country plows already come with the bracket systems and the holes and mounts everything to put the manual lift system onto itself. 
So that's what we're going to be doing today. But first we got to put the bracket onto the four wheeler. And to do this, I'm going to take off all the U-bolts that the guy had on here. And as you can see, there's these two holes here and these two holes here, these two and these two. So you can do it where the frame is angled or straight frame. However, when we look underneath the four wheeler here, the frame is straight right here. It's parallel to each other. So we're just going to put the bracket right up to it right here and mount it right underneath the frame but we're going to have to mark holes to drill into the skid plate that's on here which isn't a big deal and we'll probably just drill the holes a little bit larger so we have some wiggle play but let me go take the u-bolts out and mark up all the holes So I just finished mounting up the bracket and what I ended up doing was for these bolt holes back here I just drilled right through the skid plate and put a bolt through the skid plate here and there and right through the plate with some thicker washers and lock nuts and then on the front end here I have the U-bolts around the frame and that should be good enough to hold it because it is very sturdy on the 350 Grizzly that we had I and I only had one set of U-bolts, one on e one here, one on the other side, and it held the frame just fine. So I mean this is going to be plenty enough to hold it. So now we're just going to put it back on the ground and then put this assembly back together. Well, not back together, but reassemble all this so the arm works with the plow and then we'll put it underneath, mount everything up on the front here and uh, go test it out. Alright, so I got the arm or lever and everything attached. It's fairly simple. It bolts right here, bolts down here, and there is a spacer inside of um, this, this part. There's going to be like a spacer that keeps the bolt separate from the uh, frame so it can spin freely. And then this, this part attaches up here and down here. And then the spring attaches right here into an eye bolt right here. I have to go get the eye bolt off the other plow frame. Good thing I still had the plow frame on the other four wheeler. So I had to go get the eye bolt, put this on because this is what keeps it like snap back so it doesn't just fall down on you when you pull the lever back. And then the cable runs from here to this pulley right here and then it just bolts into one of these holes and it has this little guard piece here so the cable can stay. Then the cable comes up and I got a new chain link for it. So then it goes on the chain link here. And I end up also getting a carabiner clip because then you have a strap that wraps around the front of the rack or to the front grill area here. And then this will connect to there. But I'm probably gonna have to adjust the height. So we're gonna hook it up to the bracket underneath the plow. And normally these come with these types of pins, which I don't like these pins. It's in the middle of a snowstorm. If you do want to take the plow off or put the plow back on, even if it's not a snowstorm, when you're taking the plow on and off, these are just a hassle and it comes with the little, not the cotter pin, but the push pins. So every time I put a plow on a four wheeler, I always get these guys. They're simple, easy to put on and off because all you got to do is snap that back. And then it gives you a nice gripping point to pull the pin out. And I also put anti-seize on these just to help with the rust and make it easier to slide in and out. So let's hook up the bracket or the plow frame to the bracket underneath it and adjust that cable to where we need it. So I had a feeling this was going to happen. 
as you can see the plow frame is going like this so we got to adjust that bracket so the plow is straight up or straight with the four-wheeler frame so I'm gonna loosen up the bracket slide it or turn it so it comes this way or goes back we'll see so let me play around with that get everything figured out and then we'll figure out this height thing all right so I got everything mounted up got the cable adjusted and I ended up electrical taping the cable the loose one and cleaning it up so it's nicer and doesn't have the frayed end that stabs you but I also redid this bolt here because the spacer that's in uh, this plate here was pushed out and loose so the plow was dragging a little bit much on this side which you can kind of see that gap there so it was probably dragging on the guy before me and that's why the wear blade wore unevenly like that and I did have to trim up the plastic right here a little bit, but that's not a big deal. It was broken there anyways. So, pull the lever back and the plow comes up. I know it's not high, but it's enough to get it up off the ground. But that's how these manual lift plows work. They only pick it up a few inches off the ground, nothing crazy. But if you were to mount a winch to this and have the cable come down to here, you could get this to go even higher because it does have the room. But otherwise the plate's on and the pins are in and to demount this all you got to do is lift the plow up undo the clip here take off the strap from the rack undo the pins from underneath and you're good to go and ride the four-wheeler but that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you didn't go ahead and give it a dislike and if you'd like to see more videos like this or any other videos of mine be sure to hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it, and I will catch you guys later. Bye. In case anyone's wondering, yes, I still have the Wolverine 350. Just got the plow put on this one, and the camel one that we're going to be keeping. So, here's the lineup. These two are going to be going away at some point. That one's staying, like I mentioned earlier. Got rid of the 350 Grizzly. As many four-wheelers as I've had, I've had plenty with plows on them as well. But, yeah, that's a 50-inch, 52-inch with the angled. But I will catch you guys later.